I'm Matt Gutierrez, and with me today is Yankin Tannerham. We're going to be talking about the emerging trends in the very dynamic automotive market and the evolving processor IP requirements for in-vehicle applications. So let's get started. Yankin, of course, the concept of autonomous vehicles is not new, but they are getting more and more real, right? Many cars on the road today already have driver assistance features like adaptive cruise control, lane guidance, uh, active braking. But what do you think it's going to take to get to the next level of autonomous driving in the next couple of years? Yes, Matt. Um... The automotive industry um, continues to push uh, to develop uh, autonomous vehicles or trying to give more and more autonomy to the vehicles uh, and the systems are getting increasingly complex. A larger number uh, and a greater variety of sensors are uh, being integrated to provide this autonomy and a more comprehensive picture of the uh, driving environment which is at the end critical to achieve this uh, independence um, of the car. For example, a vehicle might use uh, LiDAR, uh, radar, and ultrasound and infrared sensors, all uh, integrated as well as cameras for object detection, uh, along with um, something called uh, scene segmentation. The purpose is not uh, just to track and identify objects. Obviously, uh, the ability to uh, differentiate uh, a pedestrian, for instance, uh, from a building uh, or an advertisement uh, or a car is important. But that's just the starting point uh, because you want to be able to predict uh, what that pedestrian uh, or the car uh, is doing next and, and understand uh, what these objects' role are within the context of the scene. And of course, uh, all this image and sensor data, um, and in some cases, even sound, requires a tremendous amount of uh, processing power uh, to be done within the vehicle. We are talking pretty heavy hitting computers now uh, as uh, central uh, processing engines in the cars. And the latency of uh, going to the cloud to do some of that processing cannot be tolerated. Uh, so for most of these tasks, uh, they tend to be handled uh, locally uh, or even if distributed within the car itself. And if you are looking all that computation, um, there is one uh, tricky element uh, and, and that's what you have to still factor the safety as a critical component, uh, as part of that uh, requirements, how to manage all the incoming data. Thank you for watching this video and please join us in the next segment to hear about how vehicle safety requirements have an impact all the way down to the processor architecture.